It's a conversation between the writers and the actors, and I think what we found was something that people really attached to. And uh, you know, I can't take ownership for that. I think that it was a team effort, and I think that that character, which doesn't belong to me, um, it belongs to everyone, is is what people really like. Um, and frankly, I think it's what the show needed as well because. Ward is a guy who's in the gray area. It's not black or white. In a show about heroes versus villains, this is a guy who's kind of both. And you need somebody like that because it makes the show unpredictable. And, um, and I think that's what, what fans liked as well. Because as soon as you saw him on the screen, like Jeff Loeb kept talking about how, um, how Grant Ward was like the ultimate act out. And an act out is like the last five minutes, the last scene before you go to a commercial. Last couple of frames, really. And um, that's what Grant Ward was for a lot of it. Like, as soon as he was on screen, you were like, oh, shoot, oh, shoot, it's about to happen. And you had to cut to a commercial because it's like, oh, some stuff's about to happen. As soon as he was on screen, like, it, it, as soon as he was injected into the story, um, you knew some stuff was going to go down and, and it was all going to be different. So it was, uh, I feel very, very fortunate to, to have a character so flashy and exciting and, and unpredictable and scary and cool and vulnerable as work. That. It's actually really felt like that because the nature of TV, especially when you have 22 episodes and stuff, um, you know, uh, the actors are often the last people in a long process of people who know about uh, big events, and the actors are typically the last people to know. Um, you know, <laughs> so often the amount of heads up that we have is roughly a week. Um, it's often the episode before where they'll call you in. I've been called into the office a few times and you're sat down and you think you're going to get fired and then you realize, oh no, it's actually just a big plot change. They really want to make sure that, that you get and they're, they're taking the time to, to nurture that and make sure that this transition is right because I want to get it right as much as they want me to get it right. Um, so we have this big long conversation about it. Um, and I've gotten that talk a few times, but that only happens episode four. That is as much heads up as we get. Once you're established in the in the the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you uh, you are that character. And so, I've, as we were talking about earlier, I'm very proud that that is uh, you know the mark that I've I've left. Um, so I'm going to be him. What they decide to do with that character, they keep bringing him back. Um, you know, we're going into the framework now, um, which is a good uh, excuse to have kind of alternate timelines that wouldn't take place um, in, in the real world. It's kind of a, a, a Matrix-like situation where we're plugged in and, and it's like, well, this is, this is kind of like Ward if this had changed. This is kind of like Agent May, what she would be like if these circumstances were different. So the character looks the same and is kind of the same, but it's... I mean, that's what we daydream about. What, what would have happened if I didn't go into acting? I don't know, I'd probably be a school teacher or something like that. You know? And, and so it's, it's a different version. I mean, you are still you. It's just what if you made different choices along the way. Um, so that's, that's what's really cool about the, the framework um, and what they're doing with the, the, the Grant Ward character. But I would like to think that this character, you know, is hopefully a fan favorite enough that they don't ever, like, definitively kill him. And can, he can pop back up in, in a movie, um, in a TV spinoff, in uh, you know the fifth season, hopefully sixth season, seventh season um, of Agents of Shield. I don't know. I hope that he's somebody that kind of like never really dies, and that people are still excited to see too. That's the most important part too. If it's just, it's just like somebody who never really dies, and he's back, and people are like, oh my god, please kill this guy then I don't know. But if it's like, oh crap, here he is again, like this is gonna be crazy.